So obviously a huge win for you guys the other day on Saturday against Omaha, six to one, four goals second period. It felt like that five minute rush kind of early in the period changed the game. What was the key to you think of the success of that night? I think the biggest thing for us early on is just sticking to what we do well. Um, we're, we're playing these teams early on here and, and getting a feel for them. Uh, we don't want to deviate from our game plan. So I think for us, we stuck to our game plan and we got rewarded for it. Obviously, the power play was a big part of the early start. There were a lot of penalties called in that first period. How did you guys kind of keep the team even keeled on the bench despite knowing that you know you might either be on the PK or on the power play every other minute, it felt like? Yeah, I think that's the one thing in this league is you, you have some highs and lows throughout a game. Um, and we have a great group of guys that manage their, their, their uh, internal levels within themselves. So we as a coaching staff don't really have to manage that. Obviously, we, we send reminders, but we have a really good group of leaders in there that uh, have been around, they have experience, they're a mature group of guys. And so when we get in those situations, I think our leaders really take hold and, and keep our group not only focused, but, but even killed. Obviously, as a goaltending coach, had to be pretty excited about the effort that Lucas Massey gave you. So far, the goalies, regardless of who's been in it, it's done a, a great job. What'd you like about Lucas on Saturday? Uh, Lucas did a great job of keeping us in it early. I think early on in the game, he had, had a lot of great A's against. And then as the game went on, they kind of, that pressure started becoming less and less from the opposition. So for Mass to step in and, and really give us a chance to win early on until we got our footing was huge. Um, we're really looking for him to build on that. And so obviously we're really happy for him, but for him, right back to work on Monday and obviously building towards the weekend. Two games with Tri-City this weekend, home and home. Uh, what's the biggest challenge with them? You guys saw him in preseason. Obviously that's a long time ago now though, but just from the early breakdown of film that you've done, what's the biggest challenge that they present? I think the biggest thing for us is sticking with what we do well. Um, like I said earlier, early on in the year, we played these teams and we, we had to get a feel for them. Obviously last year we had a, we had a little bit of a rivalry against Tri-City and we have a different team, they have a different team. So this first test up is gonna be really, really big. Kind of see where we, where we match up with them and then obviously as we get into game two. But for us, sticking with what we do early on and, and then just building upon that's the uh, biggest thing for us. So why a nice win for you guys the other day. Obviously you got your first goal of the season. Uh, take me through that goal first off because that was kind of a face-off play. You win an offensive zone draw and next thing you know it's in the back of the net. You just redirected a shot from the point. Uh, take me through what was the design. Obviously it worked to perfection. Oh yeah, um, Mangan was supposed to win it back to either like Raft or uh, CR in the D. And it just worked out perfectly where Mangan won it back and C CR got a shot from the point and I was just in front of the net looking for a tip. Talk to me about what's going through your mind. Are you just trying to get positioning in front and then next thing you know the puck's coming your way or what's going through your mind there? Yeah, I was just trying to like, take the eyes of the goalie, get in front of the other defenseman, just looking to get something on it. You got an opportunity in that game to be on a line. You've kind of been the extra skater a lot early on. What did that mean to get into a regular rotation getting on the ice? Uh, it felt good. It felt good to really get into like a rhythm rather than just playing every other shift. So that felt good. What do you think was the biggest key to you guys winning? Because obviously it's a rivalry game, you expect it to be intense, but it felt like with a blink of an eye early into the second period, you guys were up six to nothing. Yeah, I thought we like touched pucks first on the offensive zone and just really worked top, hard in all areas of the ice. How do you carry that momentum into this weekend against Tri-City? Uh, I think we'll have a good week of practice here, then play Tri-City Friday and Saturday and hopefully get two wins out of it.